Hello, and welcome to our webinar, Build Better Bundles with AppRiver and Microsoft, brought to you by OpenText and Microsoft. I'm your host, Katie Bavoso from The Channel Company. While the pay-as-you-go as-a-service model has gained immense popularity in recent years, there are more ways to ensure your client feels they're getting the most bang for their buck while also increasing your revenue. One of those business models is through strategic bundling of services. Today, we'll discuss what bundling is, how Microsoft bundles can become a part of your portfolio, and how steadfast Microsoft partner AppRiver can help you bundle successfully. Joining me today to discuss this in three segments is Andrew Murphy, Director of Microsoft Go-To-Market Programs at AppRiver, an open text company. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for being here. Let's go ahead and get started with our first segment, the value of strategic bundling. So first of all, Andrew, we've got to answer the most important question here. What is bundling and why are bundles valuable sales tools for channel providers in this current market? Well, I know Virtually every MSP already understands the value of bundling. They're doing it today. They help you organize your offering, and it allows you to put the focus on solving your clients' problems rather than discussing individual line items. Uh, it lets the client focus on the overall bundle and the solution that you're providing them, and it makes your invoicing significantly easier uh, rather than going through each individual line item within it. Uh, and the other piece of it, and a big piece of it, is that bundling can be more profitable uh, for the organization itself. Uh, it will help you protect your margin, especially if you're bundling in your services along with any solutions that you're selling. Andrew, you mentioned that many of your partners are already bundling, but for those who are just starting out, what flexibility do bundles offer channel providers and their customers? And why do customers generally like bundles? For those who have never bundled before, yeah. let's get well, that out of the way. Yeah, so I, I like to think about it first from the value for the customer. Why do customers like it? it? It does make buying easier. And rather than going in and trying to make decisions and using a lot of cognitive um, overhead to make these decisions about which individual line items that I'm going for, it's much easier to say, I'm gonna choose between item A, B, and C. You know what, let's go with A or let's go with C. It makes it much easier. Uh, and when you look at you know, why channel providers like the flexibility and um, what value it adds, being able to package something together really takes that focus off of the individual price for a component. There might be something that's really, really critical for a customer, but they may balk over the price of it. But when it's put within the overall package, that pricing opacity allows the customer to get the thing that they really need with much less friction from the buying process. So Andrew, AppRiver was Microsoft's very first indirect provider. We'll talk about that more later in this webinar, but talk to me about Microsoft service bundles. Microsoft is often shifting and making changes, including the Microsoft new commerce experience, which is still rolling out in phases right now. What opportunities and challenges do Microsoft bundles create for MSPs? So you're right, Katie, Microsoft has absolutely made things very interesting over the last year or so. But you know, Microsoft absolutely understands the value of bundling. When I say something like business premium or E1, E3, those are all bundles. And the market understands, in many cases, they may not even know what the individual components of those bundles are. But uh, as the old commercial says, they ask for it by name. And so when you look at the value to the MSP of wrapping their own services around these Microsoft bundles, where you have your own version of that, that's gonna help you differentiate your offering and it's gonna help you make more uh, margin. Uh, think about a 10X uh, services multiplier uh, when you wrap your services around those Microsoft packages. Uh, and then if you add uh, higher margin products like threat protection that complement Microsoft, endpoint protection, cloud to cloud backup, you are able to create a bundle that is both unique to your service offering and is absolutely tied closely to the bundles from Microsoft that everyone knows and is already familiar with. 
So in the same conversation of growth and business value and all of that lately, we also have to talk about security. Honestly, they really go hand in hand these days. So how can bundling impact security of a client's network? So yeah, Katie, we talked earlier about how when you bundle, there might be some services that you know the customer needs and that the customer may not be as aware of the value. And security offerings are very often one of those things that by putting into a bundle, you're really helping your customer out by getting to the right decision. Uh, if you look at something like CompTIA, uh, their annual security report always shows that SMB customers tend to rely very heavily on uh, point solutions like firewalls or endpoint protection for security. But bundling gives you the opportunity to create a, a core solution set for your clients. Uh, and when you include something like advanced threat protection, uh, encryption, email encryption, online backup, cloud to cloud, uh, and business continuity, that's going to greatly increase your customer's security. Uh, and then you'll be able to include monitoring, patching, ongoing security audits, all of these capabilities that clients need, but that they might look and say, well, why do I need that? Can I cut this piece out of it? So it's not only protecting your customers, but when you think about your own liability as an MSP, it's going to protect you from being targeted by insurance companies. In case a breach happens, we know that uh, MSPs tend to be, have been targeted in the past as a component of this. And by bundling the services that you and your customer need to provide a secure uh, ecosystem really helps provide that overall security posture that the market really needs right now. Mm, some great points there, Andrew. Let's continue this conversation in segment two, bundling your bundles as an MSP. Mm. Particular fan of that title. So first question in this segment, what's included in a core Microsoft bundle? Can you give me an example? So anyone who's been uh, a big fan of Carl Palachuk uh, will have recognized that I'm echoing a lot of uh, what Carl Palachuk um, preaches uh, in his seminars. And we're big, big fans here at App River. Uh, we've invited Carl in several times to, uh, to present to our partners. We will be doing more of that. Uh, and so when we look at the core Microsoft bundle, uh, our best example just takes directly from, uh, from Carl, where you might have a core Microsoft bundle that includes your modern work, productivity solutions, you know, Teams, email, the office suite. And if you just looked at that, that's maybe $12.50. Uh, but as a partner, you can wrap your products and services around it and turn that $12.50 into $120 per user per month. And when you look at say the Microsoft new commerce experience, everyone's saying, well, what if I, you know, should I do a 20% premium for a month to month to give that flexibility or not? Well, 20% on top of 1250 is gonna get lost in the noise of $120 per user per month. So we're looking at $120 or $124. It's not going to have much visibility as if you're just looking at 20% on one line item. Again, the value of bundling. So you can wrap all of your services in, call them included. We always guide, as Carl will say, you know, don't sell all you can eat uh, as your bundle because you want to have a cap if you're going to have after hour support. You know, limit that, draw those lines very clearly uh, in your statement of work, but make that, uh, that bundle uh, value to you and your customer by just keeping it one simple line item. What best practices should partners keep in mind when building bundles? And what is the first step they should take on this journey? So Carl's best practices uh, usually uh, starts off with the importance of building your line card, really understanding what you sell and also understanding who your ideal client is. So it's who, what do you sell? Who do you sell it to? And when you take a look at all of that and you look at what your customers are buying, that likely in and of itself becomes your core bundle. So just package it up that way. Uh, but when you focus on the value and not on the tools, that's again, coming in, creating the bundle. Here's, we're gonna sell the value of what we're providing. Not, I'm gonna sell you this particular threat protection service. It allows it to be interchangeable. So if there's a service that you're offering today and it's not working out for your clients, the same bundle, you've just swapped out the products within it. Uh, and it's also really important to think about pricing strategically. So instead of just saying, well, hey, I need to make X percent margin on each and every one of these, really break that mindset and start thinking, well, how do we package this up? Should we sell this 
you know, individually? Should we sell it in packages of, of five seats so that we've got some flexibility with it? Uh, really simplify your invoicing by breaking that idea of just here's a line item plus margin on top of it. And uh, psychologically, when you think about um, making it easier to make choices, uh, you'll often see organizations go with a good, better, best strategy where um, classically the best is a foil for the one in the middle where you would say, well, we don't want to be cheap, but I don't want to spend too much money. So let's go with the one right in the middle. And most bundling strategies point you towards this most popular offer of the one in the middle. But Carl kind of spins that a bit on his head, on its head and says, well, actually make the premium bundle so close in cost to your middle bundle that it's just a no brainer to spend the extra. So for maybe $2 more per user per month, you're gonna get so much more value that no one's ever gonna buy that middle. And what you've done is you've just created a funnel through strategic pricing that guides your customer to really uh, what they need in the whole shebang and the most profitable offer that you would have. I feel like this segment should be called WWKD for what would Carl do? <laughs> I love it. Going on from there, Andrew, how can MSPs differentiate themselves by selling bundles and ultimately be more profitable? Obviously, there's everything you and I just talked about, but if you can kind of wrap that with a nice bow, how can they do it? Well, um, if you are just selling the same products and services as the MSP down the street, you're not differentiating. It's, that's very clear. And so when you look at, well, what is your business value? Who are your core, you know, what do you do that's specific and unique? And you build your bundles to align with that. If you focused on dental offices, you can have very, if you focus on insurance uh, customers, you can have very specific insurance packages uh, for, those, uh, for those clients. Uh, but in the end of the day, if you're simplifying your invoicing, you're building your story, you're positioning yourself as a trusted advisor, someone's going to come to you because you have a package that's tailored to them as opposed to something that they're going to pick up off the shelf from someone else that doesn't directly tie back to their business uh, or the value of their service provider. Uh, customers looking for a partner want to know that they are working with someone who can craft a solution for them uh, that's going to work. That brings us right into our third and final segment today, Andrew, bundling with AppRiver and OpenText. So as I said all the way back at the beginning of this program, AppRiver, now a part of OpenText Security Solutions, was Microsoft's first indirect CSP provider. How does this longevity allow AppRiver to better help partners create successful Microsoft service bundles? Well, yeah, we do go back a long time with Microsoft and all the different things that have now turned into the, the CSP program. Uh, and so that has helped us over time uh, as, the, as our organization has evolved. We've really focused on adding value to Microsoft. Uh, we, unlike a lot of uh, uh, indirect, uh, pro uh, indirect providers, we offer our own technology solutions so that our partners have them at a higher margin so that they can wrap them around uh, and make it uh, easier, you know, simplifying that Microsoft experience, the security experience for their customers. Uh, but on top of that, uh, we really dig in with our partners on uh, providing business consultations. Uh, we provide uh, marketing consultations. We provide support around helping to maximize the Microsoft benefits. You talked earlier about all the, um, um, all the activity that Microsoft has created over the last year that's kept our partners so busy. Well, it's kept us very busy uh, because we've done a lot of consultations around what it means to transition from the MPN program into MCPP. What does it mean to navigate the changing policies around the new commerce experience? Uh, how can we help our partners explain this in blog posts or emails uh, to their customers really navigating all of this complexity, you need a provider who has done it before and knows uh, how to take that experience and distill it to a customer or to a partner um, and make it really fit their environment. So how does AppRiver help MSPs go to market with Microsoft bundles? So just like uh, how I mentioned, we've done sessions with Carl Palachuk, uh, the uh, WWKD session, uh, we'll, maybe we'll call it next time. 
is uh, we have MSP masterclasses uh, so that we bring in trusted third parties. So you don't have to look at us and say, well, you know, what do I know about running an MSP? Well, you know, we work with a lot of them, but let's bring in someone who really specializes in that, like Carl and others. Uh, so MSP masterclasses, we have uh, partner tools, we have resources, uh, such as campaigns in a box, so that if uh, a partner, you know, is saying, well, I want to run a campaign to my, uh, to my customers, they can download the tools and get off and, and running with that. Uh, and finally, we offer a lot of uh, product technical trainings, uh, sales trainings for our partners that make sure that they're not missing the information. Microsoft sends a lot of information out. Uh, trust me, I get it every day. And being able to navigate and understand, well, what's really important to our partners at a particular point in time, using us as a, a bit of a filter to help them understand what's really important right now. So you gave me a ton of resources that AppRiver offers, but what support does AppRiver offer partners to be successful when selling Microsoft bundles? So uh, we love when we have the opportunity to help co-sell with our partners. Uh, the feedback I get often from uh, our partners is it's the, the channel rep on the other side uh, who really understands and can really help. Uh, the additional resources, uh, we have a gentleman, Maj Medina, who is a, he's a longtime uh, uh, Microsoft person, has been in the Microsoft ecosystem, uh, who is fantastic at getting on calls. Um, we have others as well, but to get on those calls and help them really understand the, the value and, and the positioning value of the Microsoft products and how to position it alongside higher margin solutions uh, and services from the MSPs. So whether it's our business reviews, whether it's consultations, um, we just uh, have been wrapping up a couple of uh, partner to partner peer groups uh, within our strategic Microsoft partners and uh, facilitating that exchange of information has been uh, really, really valuable to our partners and it's uh, very rewarding uh, to us to be able to see this, this growth within our partners uh, that we're helping to facilitate. Last question today, Andrew, how can MSPs start bundling with AppRiver and Microsoft right now? <laughs> right. Well, uh, you know, call today. Uh, you know, we, we have a, so to make it easier, we've got a, a link up on the screen uh, so that uh, you can get on the phone to talk with us. If you're already working with us, call your rep. Um, they, they, we've got a, a several different packages of recommended bundles that uh, we can help out with. Um, but I would say get in contact with us. If you're not already working with us and you're working with a different provider, that's okay, talk to us too. We firmly believe that a rising tide raises all boats. We're all in this together. And uh, you know, it's not entirely altruistic. We know from the past that when we help anyone and they wanna test the waters and say, well, hey, let's try, a, let's try bringing this customer on to see what the, the App River experience is like. We do really, really well with that approach. So uh, we're very open with sharing what we have and uh, you know, it, it often helps us grow our business too. Andrew, thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure speaking with you. If you're watching and would like to learn more about bundling your service offerings with AppRiver and Microsoft, simply visit the web address on your screen. Once again, for the channel company, I'm Katie Bavoso. Thanks for watching. <laughs>